This is the Whoop I've been waiting for. It's the HGLRC Moto Whoop 90 HD with Crossfire. I not only can use my Tango 2 Pro flying this Whoop, but I also just picked up the DJI goggles. So I'm sort of beginning the digital world with Whoops, similarly to how I began the analog world flying Whoops. Very fitting. is actually not my first quad from HDLRC. I actually have the Sector 132 as well. This was a blast to fly. It has removable ducts, so it's really versatile. It's a freestyler as well as a Cinewoop. As you can see, I have the Insta360 Go cam on there. And I'm gonna link a video in the description in which I've flown it with this dinosaur on it and had sort of a Jurassic Park inspired flight. So let's take a closer look at its contents. It's called the Motowoo because of its motorcycle look. The black 3D printed canopy is high quality. I've hit a few things, went into the cement, no damage, same with the ducks. It's pretty heavy at 113 grams with props, the crossfire receiver, but no battery. HGLRC has included their own left-handed hammer antenna. Their brushless motors, the HDLRC FD1106 3800KV. I have a TBS Crossfire Nano Receiver, which I am stoked because I can use my Tango 2 now. In the box, you'll receive a few extra ducts, a USB C to USB adapter. Ignore the stickers that I have. Um, you'll receive Moto Whoop 90 stickers, or perhaps there won't be any stickers at all. I have an earlier version of the Whoop. There are, of course, the HDLRC T Rex stickers that remind me of Kelsey FPV. There's a small screwdriver to work on the Whoop. And two battery straps that remind me a bit of the Tiny's LED straps with the stitching and the metal buckle. I use those for my 5 inch quads. The props are Avon Emax 4 blade. They're 2 inch in size. And they seem quite durable. I haven't broken one yet. You'll have your instructional manuals for the Cadex Vista and some hardware. The flight controller is the HGLRC Zeus 13 all-in-one. And remember, a Cadex Vista Nebula Nano. The battery I'm gonna use is the recommended, which is a 4S450 Ma. flying in my house with the 4S 450Ma ADC Ovonic battery. You can really feel the weight of the Whoop, so it sort of takes a few packs to get used to your throttle. It does fly quite smooth though. I was able to hold a tight line flying through the chair gap in the tunnel upstairs. It's nice to be able to fly this both indoors and outdoors because it's winter here in Maine right now and it is cold. We don't have as much sunlight during the day either. Um, I imagine I'll fly this probably a lot in the house and in my school too. It's going to be really fun to have a whoop that I can fly my DJI goggles with. Can't wait to see the places I'll go and the gaps that I'll be able to hit. It's really another win from HGLRC, so thank you so much for sharing it with me.